Hi, my name is David Revoix and in this video tutorial, I will show you how I use a complex gimmick filter named Colorize Line Art Smart Coloring. I'm using this filter to ease and speed up my workflow with flattening the colors of my webcomic Pepper and Carrot. This filter is available on recent version of Krita, specifically the one with Gimmick QT plugin. In this tutorial, I will show you two methods. The first method will be the random color. Gimmick will auto color the line art with random color, and then we will just have to replace the color later. The second method will be the auto clean. And in this one, we will send two layers to Gimmick, our line art and a color sketch, and Gimmick will auto clean them. Let's start step by step with the random color method. Get your line art ready with a good contrast and select the layer with your line art on it. Then go to Filter, Start Gimmick QT. If your Gimmick QT windows don't look like mine, don't panic. I just changed the setting via the setting button on the bottom of the window. I'm using on it the Preview on right side layout and the dark theme. It's just a personal preference. To find the filter, you need to expand the black and white category in Available Filter column and click on Colorize Line Art Smart Coloring. The first thing we can see is the preview. And our line art is already filled with random color, but we see also weird additional red spot and blue line. Don't worry, this preview is not what you will get as a result. The preview shows you useful information. The red dots are places where Gimmick detects what it calls endpoints, and the blue line connects the endpoints together. This system will help you to see where Gimmick will auto-close small gaps in your line art. The default setting needs to be adjusted or Gimmick will try to auto-close too many little areas. To adjust the blue lines and the red endpoints, we will change two parameters. The first one is endpoint rate. You can increase or decrease the detection of endpoint on your line art with a slider. The second parameter is spline max length and this one will define the maximum length of the blue line and so of the gap of your line art. During the process, if you need a better preview, scroll at the end of the filter and switch the preview type to color red line art. This will switch the preview to what you will get when you will press the OK button. And when it's done, and when you feel OK with all the area, you can just click on OK on the wall gimmick windows. And the result will appear in Krita. Gimmick will output two layers, your line art and your colors. Krita has a minor bug here. The output of the gimmick layer and their name are switched. So you can rename them and autofix this by doing a small workaround. Now you can select your fill tool and go to the tool option docker, set the threshold to 1 and the fast mode checked on. With this tool it will be easy to replace each area of color and speed up your coloring flatting workflow. Colorize Line Art Smart Coloring can also do something else. If you scribble a color sketch or speed coloring under your line art, the filter can auto-clean the speed coloring into only clean, flat areas of colors. So first, 
we need to do a speed coloring under our line art. This step is easy. We can use big airbrushes, blending modes, brushes with expressive brush stroke, and research some good colors for our design. When it's done, we select our line art layer and open Gimmick QT in the filter menu and select Colories Line Art Smart Coloring. First, we will switch on the top of the filter the Colories mode to Auto Clean Bottom Color Layer. The preview of Gimmick will suddenly display a warning. It's normal, we need to tell Gimmick to use more than one layer. In the Input Output column, on the Input button, select Active and Below, because we want Gimmick to use the active layers, our line art, and the layer below, our speed coloring. Feel free to adjust again the parameters as we see on the first method, and it will auto-close the gap of your line art, and when it's done, just click on OK and the result will appear on Krita again. Gimmick will output two layers again, your line art and your colors. But again, you might see a output bug and we switch layers name or layer position. It's easy to work around, I let you sort the layer and rename them. That's all for today, and I hope this two new colorization mode will help you to optimize your own productivity. If you like them, let the gimmick developer know it. They worked hard to get this filter working, and also thanks the Krita developer for shipping the recent gimmick QT filter into Krita. Goodbye!